Next, we're going to calculate depreciation expense from a different method. A different method. This method is going to be called units of production. And units of production is quite different from straight line for several reasons. But the main factor that is different is because of the base of the calculation. See, when we talk about straight line, straight line, if you think of the formula, what is the denominator of straight line? It's years, right? So technically speaking, that particular um, component or that particular calculation is derived on the years. The years is really um, forcing or encouraging the actual calculation. So the amount that you have for straight line is dependent upon how long you own the asset. See what I'm saying? Hopefully. And so units of production is not derived from time. It's not derived from amount of years. The base of that calculation comes from what? Think of the key words in the name. The units. How many things are being produced. So it's actually based on usage versus time. So what's the formula for units of production? UOP. I like to show hand stuff. Units of production formula has the same numerator calculation, which is your cost minus your salvage value. Right? That's depreciable cost, cost minus salvage value. But the base is different. The base, instead of it being um, number of years, total estimated units. Total estimated units. Total estimated units. And so that's our formula for units of production. Okay, so moving back to our information, our factors, we're going to need some more stuff, right? We have to make some estimated units that we expect to um, use for this truck throughout the life of it. So technically, we have five years. So we have five years of units that we need to estimate in terms of usage, right? And so... When we're talking about a truck, we can measure truck's usage through miles, right? So let's assume that the first year we drive the truck 10,000 miles. Second year, 30. Third year, no miles. Fourth year, 40,000 miles. And then six years, I don't know, 20,000 miles. Okay, and so these are estimates, and this is what we do the minute that we make the purchase, okay? And so in terms of calculating units of production, how will we apply this to our formula? Well, we know our cost is going to be 200000 We know our salvage value is 40000 which gives us a depreciable cost of 160 The most we're going to depreciate is 160 and our total estimated units, how are we going to do that? Where are we going to find that at? That information that we have, that we estimated. All you have to do is sum up your total estimates. So we started out with 10 plus 30 plus 0 plus 40 plus 5 plus 20. So what is that? That's 90. Actually, that's 100. 100. 100,000 miles on the dot. Let's see, that's 40, that's 60. Yep, 100,000 miles total on the dot. And so we're going to take that and put that in the base of our calculation, 100,000 miles. And we're going to see what this brings us. So we have 160 divided 100,000 miles, 1.6, right? So basically we get a rate, 1.6 per mile. 1.6 per mile. 1.6 per mile. So technically what we're saying is that in order to properly depreciate this asset, we're going to take 1.6, $1.60, we're going to reduce the asset by per mileage driven. Okay, so this is a rate that we're going to use, okay, based on the usage. So obviously the more we use it, the more that the depreciation is going to be. So, if I wanted to calculate depreciation expense for year one, how would I do that? Well, 
I would take the hundred and sixty thousand, the one the one dollar and sixty cents, and I would multiply that times how many miles I drove this year, which was ten thousand, and that would give me the amount that I have to depreciate it for, right? How much is that? So let's see, one sixty. Sixteen thousand, right? Now, for depreciation expense for year two, how would I go by doing that? Again, I would take one dollar and sixty cents times the amount of miles that was driven, which we said was thirty thousand, and we're gonna take one dollar sixty cents times thirty thousand, and that should give us forty eight thousand. 48000 is the amount, the depreciation expense for the second year, all right? Now, what if I wanted to find out what's accumulated depreciation? What if I want to calculate accumulated depreciation for year two? How would I do it? Accumulated depreciation for year two. Well, there are two ways you could do it, right? We know that accumulated depreciation adds up all the depreciation expense, right? And so if we wanted to calculate accumulated depreciation, we could just simply just add up these two depreciation expenses for the year. And that would give it to us, right? So basically, we could take the 48000 plus the what? sixteen, And that'll tell us the amount that accumulated depreciation is, which happens to be what? 64000 Now, we also could have calculated the 64000 by taking the rate the 1.6, which is per mile, and saying, how many miles have we driven so far? So far, since we owned it, right? We saw in year one, we drove 10,000 miles. In year two, we drove 30. So the combination of that is 40. So if we took 160 and multiplied it times 40,000 miles, it'll give us the same thing, 64. Okay? And so lastly, I could ask, Based on that, I can also find out what my book value is for year two. And we know that our book value formula is cost minus accumul uh, accumulated depreciation for year two. So we know our cost is still 200000 And we know our accumulated depreciation for year two, we calculated it was 64000 so if we take the cost, 200000 minus the 64000 that gives you 136000 136000 OK? So again, this is your units of production formula. And this is how you will go by getting the information needed to make the appropriate adjustments and financial reporting, okay?